What's going on guys? Levels Pressure Washing here. I want to thank you for coming to my channel today. If it's your first time, I would love to have you as a member. Hit the subscribe button, stick around, and uh, tap the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you don't miss any of my videos when I drop them. Um, so today, I am going to finish the lake house that started last night. I didn't shoot any film yesterday. I was too busy. I was covered up. So I'm going to do that today. We're doing the lake house that we bid, and uh, we're also doing the another house we bid and then I'm also dropping my diesel trailer off my Kubota I have the best diesel mechanic in the state of Tennessee and he's booked out for a long time but he's a friend of mine so I'm gonna drop my trailer off at his house he's not gonna bring it this morning uh, for some reason the Kubota it's a great engine I think it's a K15 V1505 or something like that but it's like a 40 something horsepower it's a freaking beast I could push like 20 or 30 gallons a minute easily but i'm going to upgrade to a 10 gallon minute pump but back to the issue with it's not starting so i don't know if it's a wiring issue or what it is but i'm going to take it to him and he's going to look at it to him take his time i have this trailer behind me i have another trailer i have three trailers so it's awesome to have that luxury to to drop and go to another one so i told him keep it as long as he wants to take whatever off of it needs to come off of it fix it um and then when he's done let me know he's an amazing amazing dude um, last time he wouldn't even charge me for it, so I'm gonna if he don't try to charge me this time I'm gonna wash his house or something. I'm gonna do something Hide some money in his truck or something. I don't know. But uh, Yeah, but anyway, um, my back's kind of hurt today guys. Keep me in your prayers uh, I woke up my back's hurting really bad. I'm trying to just press through and uh, get this stuff going um, So you're gonna do this house I'm gonna drop by get my other trailer go do the other house and then when I'm done drop that off and then get to my commercial work. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And uh, glory to God, we're going to get through all this pain. Uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And uh, guys, I'll see you at the lake house. Let's go. All right, guys, we watched this yesterday. Um, I didn't get no footage on it, but as you can see, it was really, really dirty. Uh, that roof was black. We are able to get, we can't obviously get the sticks off, but we got all of the, the black off of it. Let's walk around this side over here, see what we're looking at. Thank it. We knocked it out last night. It was dark. We could hardly see, but yeah, man. I tell you what, I did this with a flashlight last night and uh, my back's feeling a little bit better, guys. I, I prayed about it and uh, took a Advil and it's working. It's feeling a little better now. So, yeah, look, man, we got it looking good. We got it looking really good. Oops, almost fell. But yeah, look at that, man. We got it looking good. I wonder what the roof in front looks like. We washed the roof, and this is with the bat batch mix. I meant to show y'all we're batch mixing. This is the the uh, Comet uh, P40 right there, the Lafon I sell. And uh, okay, let me see. Okay, we'll hit that roof a little bit more. See if we can get a little bit off that top there, right there, a little bit right there, and uh, yeah, so that's good. Let's look at this. Oh man, that we got all but that spot. This was black. Oh, we got that looking good too. And uh, we actually just threw in the roof. Uh, we just told them just to cover like 200 bucks of chemicals and through the roof because we we didn't add that. This is a returning customer, so we're actually doing the roof on both of these. No charge. I know that's crowds crazy, but we're knocking them out. We're knocking. We're washing all of this. We're washing the driveway, washing the boathouse down there. So we would head. I said, just go ahead and uh, since you you know have a great relationship with with our company, go ahead and just wash the roof. Just just 200 dollars in chemicals. Uh, so yeah. Um, like I said, it's always people over profits because I get heat. They've left me great references before and five star reviews. So yeah, um, like I said, that's that's super valuable to us. So we're gonna wash that roof still. See, it's black right there. We're gonna come around here. We're gonna hit this roof. Oh, look, see how? See, that's what the front looked like right there. See it? That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. We're gonna try to get up there as high as we can go. Um, yeah, I just don't know how I'm gonna get up there to wash up there. I don't really know how I'm gonna get up there. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shoot from the ground. It's very nice. I tell you what, guys, I never realized how nice it was out here on this lake. This is the Tennessee River, but this is beautiful, man. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I can stand on this table here and uh, I could wash up there. I could head up there. Actually, you know what? I wonder if there's a way to get up there. No, there's no way to get up there. 
So I can wash uh, up there. I'll hit it from there. I really wish I could get up there, man. I really do. Ah, man. I don't know. I don't know about that. And then we're going to wash down here, of course. So you guys, uh, as you see, look. It's bad on this side and that side. So we're going to wash the boat. We're going to wash these steps. Uh, he said, don't worry about the retainer wall. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to wash this porch to wash the house. And then the driveway, of course, and we're going to get up out of here. But I just wanted to show this to you. So this is a canal. It ends right here, right? I think, yeah, it ends right there. And then, of course, this is their boat dock. But right out there, guys, is the Tennessee River. So you go out, and this is like a channel of Tennessee River Canal. And uh, right there, you can go right on the Tennessee River and go out. You can actually take that all the way down to Florida and take the intercoastal loop and go all the way back up to Canada. It's a big called intercoastal loop. Everybody, uh, a lot of people get on their boats, certain size boats you got to have. It can't be too big or too small. It's a certain specific boat. Um to, to make it through all the bridges and, and areas and, you know. So it's kind of cool, something I may want to do one day, but, you know, a lot of people do that. They get on their boats and they journey around America, but it's also, they all start like up here in like uh, Wilson Lake, Tennessee, uh, Alabama border. But yeah, we're gonna get started on this. I don't want to blab too much. I just want to kind of show you guys what we're doing. So yeah, and we're also, we threw in that carport for, for free right there too. It's just rinse it, man. You know, throw some SH up there. Uh, we did do the front of this yesterday. Let's look and see how good this looked. Oh yeah, like I said, we got the front of that. I'll just leave that open. We got the front of that looking good. Man, this came out really nice. Came out really nice. Look, we got the roof up there too. It was black, it was still a little bit wet. That's weird. I don't think it rained here. But uh, yeah, look, we, this was black. We got all that. We actually got that roof clean. The, this looked like the back over there, man. See how it's up right there? Yeah. All right, man, I'm excited. Let's get started, man. I'm super excited. All right, guys, let's go. go over this uh, roof pump system I got. Watch this. This is 1800 bucks. I can deliver this to your house. Well, plus ship it, but 1800 bucks is all it costs. Check this out. Look at that. I can shoot over three stories. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm not even making this up. Look. You see how big this lake house is? Look. Freaking three stories, man. Check this out. Watch this. You ready? Look at that very top peak. Ready? Look. I'm going over it. I'm clearing it. I'm clearing it. And I could, I could, fan, I could even fan spray. I could fan spray on the second story. Look at that, guys. Get what, get, get what the pros get, man. 1,800 bucks. I can set you up with this. You can even look. I'm pre treating my concrete. Look, fan spray it. Let this uh, SH do the job. Boom. I want to hit up top. Look. Boom. Straight up top. Look at that. Oh, well, the fan spray. No problem. Look. Guys, I got a P40 or uh, AR45, your choice, man. 1800 bucks, and I'm batch mixing this. I'm batch mixing this, guys. Look at this. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. Look, look at this. I'm batch mixing it, see? I'm batch mixing it. And I'll show you this little hack I did earlier, too. I'll show you this uh, hack at the end. Yeah. It roots like it ain't no problem. See that? Look, over the whole thing. Over it, over it, man. Over it, look, I'm way down here. I hit that roof too, it's, it's drying. So yeah, you're able to get in and out. You're able to do better work for the customer. You're able to increase your profits. And you could pay for this and basically, if you get one good job, it'll pay for it in one job. You know, you're only as good as your equipment. So yeah, this is uh, actually, and the red gun and the blue gun, the only difference is the red has a stainless pin, that's it. But you see, look, look how that is already. So big deal, I mean, the blue one works great. Like I said, I, the blue one works. Um, there's been a, I did a video on the blue one. It had like a major spot. I talked to the guys at General Pump and, and uh, sales increased the shot through the roof when I, I did like a 50,000, it's got like 50,000 views on this blue gun and it's freaking went crazy. Now I'm not saying I did that, but on, on TikTok, if you're not following me on TikTok, check out my TikTok. Instagram, little pressure washing. Guys, I'm on all that. I'm always trying to help you with hacks, chemical hacks. And I'm gonna show you another hack at the end of this um, for batch missing. Cause I'm about to go to a manifold system. I recommend that. But if you only got like a couple thousand bucks to get started, you can get this uh, roof pump system and a tank and everything and, and, and rock out, dude. I mean, look, it, it, it's amazing. I love it. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to cleaning. I'll catch I'm you guys. I'm gonna show you a trick, right? Say you're washing, 
say you got a 50-50 mix and you got all the way to the bottom and there's a little bit of chemical left, what you can do is you can throw your hose in the top of it like this. Say this is down here, right? You still got a, a strong mix in there. And go ahead and keep spraying. Go ahead and keep spraying, like spraying your, and basically work down the house because you'll be out like a, maybe a 75 to 25 ratio or 80-20 ratio and you can still hit the house like that. Just, just a little tip, man. It worked for me. I was doing a roof mix 50-50. I was on a hill with some of the chemical on the bottom. I just threw the hose in and uh, I, start, I, I kept washing down until there was no soap missing. So, yeah, just a little tip if you want to do that. Uh, so, you know, if you're kind of in a, in a hurry, you can actually just drop it in there and then actually mix with the chemicals. It'll give you, a, you know, like a maybe like a one percent two percent but still you can get some washing done with it and then when you start seeing water obviously you want to go back a little bit before that and make you a new batch just a little tip of what helps me i found out i'm about to go to a blend manifold system so i just want to make this video to show you guys who don't who don't who only want to point out what works for me so i extend my hoses here's the front end of it right i go in a big circle non you know non kinked up so when I come down here with my gun to reach the boat dock down there, just for instance, you know, it comes all the way out here and it loops back up and catches this so it doesn't tangle. So yeah, all, it's all about preparation. So when you prepare, like when you're doing a house, look at where all you need to go. Say if you want to wash, I could have started at the back and worked my way up, but since things go downhill, I'm going to work from the top down just to be smart about it. But uh. I've already actually wet and uh, did like a 1% back here. That's what I was telling you a while ago when they put it in the, when the roof mix got low, I just threw the water in there. It was still really strong, brought it to like a one to 2%. And I was able just to, to keep, to keep going without having to batch mix again. Now I'm batch mixing one more batch, which should get me out of here. But uh, yeah, that's what, that's what, when I learned it a while ago, I was throwing it. I said, let me just throw the water hose in there. And it'll mix with the strong mix that's in there and create like a 1%, which will be enough to treat all this, which is what it's doing. So, so I did the roof first and then when it got low, I just, and there was some chemicals in there. I dumped the hose in there and it was, it would blend with it. It, it enabled me to not make another batch and get the whole top back of the house done. So I wanted to share that tip with you, man. Um, and as I learned, like I said, I share that with you guys, you know, to help everybody grow and earn money what we're in this for but also pass on profits profits i mean um pass on uh, wisdom you know it's p people over profits all the time so yeah if you take care of your people the money will always come in so i'm gonna get back at it start rinsing now uh i've treated those right here look let me show you real quick uh see if you look right here this was black let's see let's see how the chemicals working back here all that was black that's gone i'm gonna start rinsing it now and let's see back here, see if we did any juca. Yep, look at that. All that's gone. So I stood on that table to hit up there, but yeah. So guys, man, this is uh, it's going really good. Praise God, praise God, praise God. All right, guys, I'm gonna actually roll off my high pressure 10 gallon a minute hose. I got 50 foot of half inch and 100 foot of three eighths. So I, it's actually better. I like that better than 200 feet. Give me a little bit more power and I'm able to go the distance still. So I'm gonna fire my IGX 800 right there and we're gonna start rinsing everything. You can see the chemicals already, I've already got all the algae off the top of the houses and over there as well. So we're about to fire it up and get to rinsing. And then after we rinse this, we'll soak the back and then the driveway and then we'll be out of here. What I do is I rinse with my pressure washer, with my X-Jet. So I'm, I'm in on my exit, sorry, my M5 twist nozzle. I'm able to come through here and at 10 gallons a minute, rinse this house like it ain't nobody's business. I can do this when I get actually my manifold system on my trailer, I could just turn off the bleach and rinse it at 11 gallons a minute. So I'm either 10 gallons a minute, 11 gallons a minute, or at the very minimum, eight gallons a minute with my eight gallon a minute, 3,500 PSI. Guys, you need a 10 gallon a minute like this? I got them. You need an eight gallon? I got them. If you even need some five gallons and like uh, even smaller, we got those on the way too. Um, we got a, we got something for everybody's budget. We got trailers on the way, skids on the way. Make sure you tap in little pleasure washing. The website's coming soon. Shopify store should be up. I actually have, you want to go littlespressurewash.com. You'll see the machines there, littlespressurewash.com. And then let me know what you need. Littlespressurewashing.com for service. 
and uh, yeah, even and we got another store coming too, so we got a lot in the works. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to rinsing this. I want to show you guys, and then we're gonna work our way down that way. See that roof started was black, now it's already freaking green and looking good again. That paint on my truck though ain't Nissan. You need to tighten up to get it painted so I can get it wrapped. I'm gonna do a rinse now. Look at this. This 10 gallon a minute is a beast. I can shoot like I'd say this thing shoots probably 50 feet easily. Look. I'm able to hit, look, I'm just doing this rinse on this roof. Like if it's ten dollars a bit, like it ain't nothing, man. I love it. I love it guys. You need equipment. Lewis pressure washer service at gmail.com. I will give you the best. We're on top of this hill right here. We're gonna look at that power man. It just shoots literally over the entire house. Mike Carmody, the fresh rent, brother. You're gonna love your tin. It's exactly what this one is. I mean this thing right here, taking everything I got to hold it with one hand, man, against my my uh my leg. So if I could film this for you guys. But yeah, I love it, man. I love it. I love it. And CJ, you're gonna love yours too, brother. I'm glad I can help you guys out. I was able to bless those brothers with good prices. And uh, I got some 690s on the way and some 10s on the way. Plug in, little pressure washer service at gmail.com. Don't sleep, man. Right here, I'm just rinsing with a 10 gallon a minute. It's getting, see all that, uh, I got all that black off right there. Man, this looks amazing. Homeowner's gonna be so happy. Gonna be so happy. So happy. This is what I get. I, I enjoy this more than pay, to be honest. Pay, we have to have the pay to live, but there ain't nothing like serving and, and making people happy. I love it, I love it. And, and then when you love what you do, you're just gonna make money at it. And it just reflects and it's, you're a magnet, you know? People can see that. You could see whether you want to be there or not, you know, if you really enjoy it, you know. You got to get out of that money mindset, money, 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 money. You didn't enjoy what you do, you love what you do, and you want to be the best at it, man. Like, find your niche and dominate it, man. I always say that. Find your niche and dominate it. Like, mine's gas stations, and I do other stuff like this. Actually, it's just customer service. I love customer service. I love serving people. Um, I love serving the Lord. And uh, try to be as Christ-like as possible daily, and reflect that we have good days and bad days. The Lord knows that. Um, just gotta give it to Him, you know. Guys, what I'm doing is I'm up on top of this picnic table. You hit the sucker floor. There's no access up there, so I just washed it. Look how good the roof got. I got all that black off. What I'm doing is with a fan spray, I'm, I'm lightly going on top of already estates the top of the roof and see all that, see all the dirt and grime and sticks coming off. And then we're gonna lightly, what I do is I lightly go like this right here. I don't put estates up there because there's a lot of lake up there. The water kind of rips all the spider webs like that right there and stay away from the fans as much as possible. And hit the bottom and then of course you can go hard on the, on the bricks right here. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that and uh, as we make our way around the house. Right here, we've already let the SH do its job. Got all this black algae up. So now, we're simply rinsing the excess away. Look at that, man. Looks good. Looks good. It's looking good. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Look at that. And I couldn't access the top. I stood on those tables and got all the way up the third floor. Look at that, man. I mean, look. Two houses, man. We're about to hit the driveway up there next, and we're going to hit around here. And uh, yeah, we're out of here after we hit the boat dock. Pretty big job, but yeah, when you got the right equipment, guys, it ain't nothing, man. Seriously. You gotta holler at me, though. You gotta holler at me. Uh, they're gonna be going back up soon, so get it while you can right now. 1800 bucks for either a Comet P40 or AR45. And it comes with a free battery and a battery box, man. That's what's, you can't, you can't beat it, man. Or you can get one of these Honda 10 gallon a minute, or a 12 gallon a minute, or an 8 gallon a minute. Man, guys, ever want a 17-gallon minute? We'll have that soon, too. Holler at me, man. 
We will not be beat. We will not be beat in quality. So let's watch it. Let's go. Right now, I'm rinsing off all the pine needles so that I can come treat this, pre-treat it. I'm going to take a second to rinse these off. That way, if I decide to surface clean, I think I'm going to surface clean it. Uh, depends on how good the SH and chemicals do. Then I won't have this junk all in the bottom of my surface cleaner. So yeah, if, you, if you're doing an area like this, I, I just take a couple seconds to rinse all this junk up so when they get underneath the surface cleaner. Uh, it won't hurt it, but it, it can clog it. And if it's big enough, it can make it stop. And you just don't want that. You want to. You want to go smooth and at a good pace. So remember, slow and steady always wins the race. But look at that. Look how good this I got that roof. I got all these roofs and done. This is done. Only thing is the right side of the house over there, which is the, the, the southwest side, I believe. I have to hit that. And uh, then hit this driveway, and then we're out of here, man. And uh, the customer's going to love it. It's going to be a real quick video on batch mixing for either the Comet or the AR45. So what I do, like say this is a roof mix, so I'll go half water and then half eight SH. I'll take and I'll screw one of these $20 pumps in, tighten this up. I always make sure it's above where I'm going. And I'll start slowly pumping. And as soon as it gets a nice little, a nice little flow, it should go on its own. Let me give it a few more cranks. You wanna make sure it's sealed so no air is getting in there. There we go, we got some nice flow now. And what I do is, for instance, I'm doing a roof. I'll take some, this is an example, I'm not endorsed by these people, but I'll take some roof clean with some dragon grip, and I'll even throw in a little bit of, everybody knows about the apple wash. This is this, I got a, some stuff from Texas pressure washer, and I got some stuff from Epstein Chemicals. I like to try them all, see what works. But I'll take, and I'll open this up, and I'll, I'll just put, everybody use, has different, you know, opinions. I just put like a little bit like that in there. I could go a little bit more heavier if I wanted to, but you know what? Really, a lot of people say you don't even need surfactant, but I like it as an added clean. Now this is, cl this is clean. This is Dragon Grip. I'm trying it for the first time. It works pretty good. It clings to roofs, like I'm doing metal roofs and siding. I'll mix this in there too. And that's really all I'll do. That's all I'll put, you know, in there. Now, on my other trailer, I have a blend manifold system, so I dial it in accordingly. This one's gonna have one at some point soon. Um, I just wanted to make this video for those that buy machines from me or anybody that wants to know in general how I batch mix. That's how I batch mix right and I'll rinse that off once it's done. And uh, like I'll, take, I'll take the hose and let me tell you something else, a little trick while it's filling up. So basically when you run the machine, that's 11 gallons a minute, so I would suggest a bigger tank. But if you're running this and it gets down to like maybe right here, I'll drop the hose in here real quick like look. Like, if I'm doing the roof, right, say I'm doing that roof, and then I'm going to do the, the bottom next, the, the house, and it gets low, and it gets to about, like I said, right around, right around 20 or 15, I'll take, and I'll just, I'll just drop the hose on the top like that, and I'll, and I'll keep washing, you know, to get the bottom done, and that'll be about a 1 or 2% roof mix, I mean, batch mix, that will work accordingly. So, I just want to share that with you guys. So, that's how I batch mix. There you go. S8, I do water, 50-50 for a roof, and then you can, you know, do a little bit less for house. But that's what, that's kind of something that worked for me. But I'm gonna put a, a proportion or a remote on here. I definitely like to have that. All right, guys, I hope this helped. Give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks for everything. If you need any equipment, Little's Pressure Washing Service, gmail.com, uh, Little's Pressure Wash.com or Little's Pressure Washing.com. Email me, I got, I got 10 gallons a minute, uh, eight gallons a minute, I got, P40s, I got 45s, I got 8 gallons a minute, got 12s, I got everything you need. Holler at me and I'll get you set up, okay? 8 gallons a, a minute, day. I got P40s, I got 45s, I got 8 gallons a minute, got 12s, I got everything you need. Holler at me and I'll get you set up, okay? This is Have the dirtiest day. side of the house. You can see, I get up there no problem with this wash gun. This is a Comet P40 that I'm running here with the LaFon. I'll let me see we you got our guy. SH down. We've uh, whatever. We've done three little treatments on this, and we've got most of this black up, so it's looking really good. So we're gonna give it a rinse, and uh, we've got the boathouse down there. We treated that. We're gonna go there and rinse that, and work our way back up. And that other side of the house, everything's looking this really good. This particular side, which is the north side, we already hit all the green on it. We're gonna hit it with this soft wash. Going to show you. This is what my Lafon um, Comet P40 can do. Watch this. 
I'm shooting. Look, I'm shooting way over the top of that. Way over the top of that. I'm shooting about, probably about eight to ten feet over the peak of the roof. And you know what? Watch this. We're going to wash down. We can go full speed or stand it out. Wash that soap off. Gas, I just like gas systems way better. I've never tried. I never had 12 volt. I bought a 12 volt system I'm about to hook up and, and mess around with. And I'm actually going to uh, partner with Pump Tech. I'm going to be putting all this system on one of my trucks. Uh, and I've never had air diaphragm. I'm about to put straight to gas. And I tell you what, I just, I just love it because you can just rinse down with it. I mean, you don't, you can have one system rock and roll with it. Guys, we got the house washed. Look, we got the roof washed, all the black. We got the bricks washed. We got all this washed. This is uh, drying right now. We got under here. We got the deck washed. We got, we even reached up in there, man. We didn't use, uh, there wasn't no algae up in there. Just knocked the web and dirt, stuff like that. So we, we hit that. Besides, I wasn't able to tape off any um, electrical, so I wanted to not use any, of course, SH, which is, conductive this was the worst part of the house right here and of course you can see it was no chance for us no no chance against us right here we knocked it out we also did the look the boat docks done and all those steps down there are done so i'm gonna do the driveway now that we're done the driveway is the last spot but i got that 28 inch 10 gallon be done in no time so there look at that amazing 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 Looks amazing. All right, guys, let's get the job with you.